Hello and welcome to Blue Lab's official video on how to clean and calibrate the Blue Lab Guardian monitor. To ensure accurate readings, the probes need to be cleaned and calibrated each month. You will need fresh tap water, probe cleaning instruments, plastic cups, calibration and standard solutions, plus KCL storage solution. Blue Lab probe care kits contain the items you will need for cleaning and calibrating your probes. We'll start with cleaning the pH probe. Remove the storage cap, grip the base and twist the top one rotation clockwise to loosen a little. Slide the cap off, place cap upright. Fill a plastic cup with clean tap water. Add a few drops of Blue Lab pH probe cleaner. Gently stir the probe in the mixture. pH probes are blown glass and are fragile. When cleaning and calibrating, always use plastic cups. If the pH probe is heavily contaminated, take a soft toothbrush and dip in cleaning mixture. Gently clean around the glassware. Immediately rinse the probe tip thoroughly in clean tap water to remove all traces of cleaning mixture. You'll know it's time to calibrate the pH probe when the two green pH LEDs are flashing. Calibrate your pH probe to two points for accuracy. Use freshly poured pH 7.0 and pH 4.0 calibration solutions. Ensure the Guardian is on. Place the pH probe in pH 7.0 solution. Be sure to wait until the reading has stopped moving. Press and hold the pH cal button until the monitor shows pH and cal on the top two displays. Release the button. Seven will flash on the pH display, then the pH 7.0 indicator light will glow. Rinse the probe tip in clean tap water and place in pH 4.0 solution. Be patient and wait for the reading to stop. Remember, it may take a few minutes. Press and hold the pH cal button until pH and cal appear. Release. Four will flash on the pH display, and then the pH 4.0 indicator light will glow. Rinse the probe in clean tap water. You have successfully calibrated when you see both calibration indicator lights glowing. To store the pH probe when not in use, always ensure the pH probe tip is wet. If it dries, it dies. Check that there is enough Blue Lab pH probe KCL storage solution in the cap to cover the probe tip. If not, add KCL solution to ensure the probe tip will be covered. Place the cap back on the probe. Twist the top counterclockwise to secure. Always store the pH probe in KCL storage solution. Never use RO water, distilled, or deionized water. Pure water changes the chemistry in the probe, causing the probe to die. Cleaning and testing the conductivity temperature probe needs to be done monthly to remove nutrient buildup and ensure accuracy. Remove the shroud, place one or two drops of Blue Lab conductivity probe cleaner onto the probe face or the chamois. Rub the face of the probe firmly and vigorously. Use the other side of the chamois to help rinse the cleaner off the probe face in clean tap water. Give the probe face a final rinse under clean running tap water. Shake dry only. Refit the shroud firmly. Touching the probe face with your fingers will contaminate the probe. Test the probe in a known solution to ensure it is clean. There are many PPM and EC testing solutions on the market. Use Blue Lab solutions with Blue Lab products to ensure the highest level of accuracy. To test, place the probe in freshly poured Blue Lab 2.77 EC conductivity standard solution. Wait a few minutes for it to compensate for temperature. The reading should settle on 2.7, 2.8, or 2.9 EC. If you have a low reading, clean the probe again and retest in fresh solution. Discard all used solutions. Never put them back into the bottle as you will contaminate the solution. Follow the full cleaning procedures for both probes each month to ensure accurate readings. Recalibration of the pH probe may be needed when the reading is different from what you were expecting, the Guardian monitor is reset to factory default, pH probe is replaced with a new one or is disconnected from the monitor, the pH calibration indicators are flashing or have disappeared, the pH probe has been cleaned. For more tips on using Blue Lab products, visit www.getbluelab.com.